Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the Dire Realm server. Now, last episode we bred a Rex and tamed the perfect scorpion, but now just look at our Rex. She was a baby in the previous episode, but now look at that how big that is. <laughs> now she's fully grown and very big, I must say. I think I have the saddle with me already. Yes. So let's put it on her. And later on, we will try her out. Level her out a bit. Let's see. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay. So let's name you. Hmm. What's a good name? Let's name you to... CG? Holly. Holly is the new... Is that Bantamweight? Champion in the UFC. She defeated Ronda recently. So I guess it's a very fitting name for a female Rex. The champion. The queen. And actually, queen here shouldn't be queen. I guess a more appropriate name would be... I don't know. Ivy? Like poison ivy? She has that stinger. That poison thing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, in this episode, we will be focusing on switching to the rifles. Because I heard Zo got a ramshackle blueprint for a long neck rifle. So I've been preparing a bit. So if you saw there, we have a couple of rifle ammos here already. And what I'm planning is to create some darts as well. So actually, if you look here, we have quite a lot of narcotics here. So let's get all of those. And I've been making some additional gunpowder as well. So all these will be made into the trank darts. I've also been doing some metal farming. So I guess these were these are done already. Yeah. So how many can we make? I'm targeting a hundred uh, darts at least. And how do how many do they need actually? So they require uh, one ammo, three narcotics, so we would need three hundred. Okay. Let's let's systemize this. You and you. So that's a perfect 300. That means perfect 100 ammo. We need 100 rifle ammo. And we need 200 metal ingots, right? So, I have some here. 200, no problemo. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, farming recently for just for this one. Uh, ammo... 100, perfect. Make all of that. And while that's cooking up, while that's crafting, let's go to Zog's base and uh, check out the blueprint. So I will prepare the necessary materials and I'll meet you right there. And we'll see how the rifles go. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we are almost there. Zog's base is coming up in a bit. Yep, I see some of the structures now. And wow, look at how many Quetzals there are. My goodness. It's a Quetzal. It's a T-Rex army. Oh, what is he making here? <laughs> it's like he's planning an invasion, actually. OMG. Oh, this is awesome. And I'm not sure where, where the blueprint is. So let's go and try to look for it. Hmm. Mighty oh and I'm liking the railings here. Must be this is him. <laughs> and this is the bookshelf. Where is the long neck rifle am blueprint? I don't see it. Ramshackle bow is here. Hmm. Must be at the smithy. Oh I really like how that this turned out. Nice. Oh. Oh, this is it. 282 metal ingots, 59 wood, 74 hide. Nice. Alright. So let me... What is this? 40, 25. 40, 25. Okay, so it's the same blueprint. So let me just drop in everything I have here. So I can craft something here and just leave the rest to Zog. Any extra materials is his. That's the least I could do. And then let's transfer all the metal. Little by little. Okay. 
What are you? Ooh, I haven't tamed one of those yet. That would be perfect for Christmas. Oh, interesting. Alright. This is a really fine looking base. I should go and look for a base myself. Okay, so I actually made enough materials for two rifles. Let's craft two of those. And at the same time, let's craft one of these. Because I want to have one rifle for cranks and one rifle for the actual ammo. And that one will have the scope. Perfect. This is 15 weight. Not that... Hmm. It's kind of heavy. Let's put it there. 5 is here. 6 is there. And let's see how it looks. Nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, great. Now let's go back to base. Thanks, Zog. Alright, guys. We are back at base. We have our two rifles now. And now let's look at the ammo. It should be finished cooking. Alright, so let's put that there. Let's put that here. Perfect. And let's just keep the 50 right there for now for reserve. Oh yeah, perfect. Maybe we can shoot something out of the sky. And why did my scope disappear? There you go. There it is. Alright, so let's look for something to shoot down. Hmm. Maybe let's take Holly out for a spin. Oh, and she even has some levels already. Perfect. Oh, I see lots of possible preys here. Something to test our new rifle on. Like you. You, sir. Bam! Well, it was a level 8, so... <laughs> How about you? Nice. I am liking it already. Perfect. This would be perfect. Now to find something to tame, huh? But uh, let me go on Holly here for now and we'll go level up a bit. I'm really enjoying how Holly can just devastate everything without any fear. I see an alpha, level 36. This would be a perfect test for Holly. Come on, Holly. Let's see what you can do. Come on. Come on, alpha. Come on. Can't you see me yet? Oh, it's not attacking me? Oh, it's scared of me. Well, I'm not scared of you. So let's go. Let's do this. Then Dillo started attacking me everywhere. Oh, this is, this is no match. She's almost dead. There we go. Perfect! That was super easy. Oh my goodness, so that's the power of the Rex. I think a high level Rex can even kill an Alpha Rex, right? I think? Maybe? Hey, what are you doing here? This is my space. Oh, what did, what did we get there? I think we got a an apprentice pick. Apprentice metal pick and a simple pistol. Not that bad. Not that good either. But the levels are pretty good. Let's pump this up to 1k. And then let's increase health a bit. Oh, there we go. Wow, how many levels did I gain? It's like 10 levels. 11, 12. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Nice. Alright, let me go a, a bit more. Uh, oh. oh, that was intense. <laughs> let me go around a bit more. I see another alpha in the distance. But it's so far away and I don't want to bridge this river right here. So maybe let's try to hit it from afar. Did I hit it? Oh, 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 oh. Help, help, Holly, help. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, she's coming. She's coming. I think I hit her. There she is. Or he is. Alright, come. Let's go. Aha! That weapon is a good puller. So, <laughs> he swam all the way here. Thank you for meeting me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Just what I wanted. Oh, actually, there are a few more. Holly! Holly, help me! What's happening to Holly? Why didn't you help me? <laughs> Come on! Okay, they're dead. We are good. And where's the corpse of the raptor? The alpha. Uh, you probably ate it all, huh? So I did some more leveling and then went back to base and took a short break. And when I logged back in, the patch is now live guys. It's version 224 now. So with 224, they introduced the RP oriented cooking system. So we can now make custom recipes. And furthermore, with version 224.2, they increased the food and the health benefits when creating, when, when cooking some stuff. So maybe let's look into that now. Let me get some cooked prime meat here. Since now cooked prime meat is the main source, the best source of food and health next to cable and eggs i think so let's see how this looks so we put a note inside we place the cooked prime meat there and then we go out we pick make recipe and that should display the 30 prime meat there from here we can alter the appearance of the stuff here Let's make that I guess let's make it like this since cooked prime meat looks like that anyway it's just so icky with these uh, <laughs> I don't know what you call them like there are bugs or mushrooms something growing out of the meat this is, that doesn't look too healthy but let's just leave it at that so let's say I don't know filling yum super yummy and and no additional seasoning promise <laughs> because um i made a short video for this actually i'll link it up here and i created a quote unquote seasoned meat there uh you probably won't like the recipe but <laughs> you can feel free to have a look at it <laughs> if you want okay so in here you can see 30 prime meat is giving 44 food and 50 health i think that's a lot that's a huge amount of health and there's even a bit of stamina there so maybe let's cook that up let's make three of those and i'll make one for each of us i'll give one to lilac i'll give one to zog and this is with just 100% crafting speed. If I increase this, I would get even better stats here. Let's leave it there for now. Okay, cool. Okay, here's Lilac. So let's give her something here. Uh, split this up. There. And here. <laughs> no additional seasoning promise <laughs> all right and then let's i'll go and drop over this other one to zog he is in his base so i'll have to fly a bit but that's no problem see you guys there Okay, cool. We are here at Zog's base now. And he has done wonders to the place. Look at all these tame dinos. 
my goodness. Oh, no pooping allowed. <laughs> okay, that's him over there. And maybe let's leave it inside his fridge here. Hmm. Filet mignon. Alright. Wow. And I like the organization here. This is so cool. Oh my. This is nice. So organized. Alright, and while we're at it, since we're hungry anyway, 51 food. This should give us 44. And our health is... Hmm. I would want to test it with a bit of uh, lower health. So maybe I can drop off somewhere. Not sure. Yeah, let's, let's try to drop off from here. I hope it doesn't kill me. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay, that's good. Speedy, follow me. And then let's eat it. So this should give us 50 health. Use item. It's not increasing that fast, but it is increasing nonetheless. So I guess we should be going up to 150 there. I'm just not sure if this is even better than prime meat itself. Cooked prime meat. So maybe cooked prime meat is even <laughs> better. <laughs> but this is 30 cooked prime meat, so it should be a lot more effective. I'm not sure. There still needs to be a lot of um, modification and tweaking in the system, I guess. Yeah. But still, that's good. Okay, so let me go back to base here. Alright guys. I guess that's it for this episode. We were able to do a lot of stuff. We finally migrated to rifles. And we got our new Rex, Holly, leveled up. And tried out the cooking system. For sure, we will be exploring that further. We will be learning a lot more recipes. More effective ones, hopefully. And we'll do great on that, I think. Rawr. Okay. And uh, in the next episode, I'm thinking... I might try to look for a suitable base location. Because this base is all well and good. But I do have limited space here. So I can do only do so much. I actually wanted to do a castle type base with the moat and everything. So maybe we'll have that in the future episodes. We'll see. So guys, thanks for watching and hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. This is the Clumsy Geek signing off for now. Thanks for watching guys and bye-bye.